You have a lot of horse manure and you're not sure what to do with it? How about burning it? But not just burning it by throwing it in a fire. Today we're going to try and make biochar out of horse manure. Will it biochar? Horse manure edition coming up. Currently we're in the middle of manure mania, the series of videos that I'm doing all about composting horse manure. Well, along the way building some of my compost piles, I noticed, you know, just a lot of horse manure is covered in these little horse apples or horse nuggets, these compressed pellets that came out of a horse's rear. And the bad thing about them is when you try and make a compost pile out of horse manure, you get all the bedding and the, the broken up stuff and that piles up nicely, but all these little round nuggets roll off and they're left on the ground. And then the idea popped into my head. Why not try and make biochar out of them? Now, a lot of the biochar I've made in the past has been with just woody material, sticks, branches, lumber cutoffs, and that type of thing. So I'm not so sure how this is gonna work. You're going on a brand new voyage with me. We're gonna try it out, so let's get this experiment started. When it comes to manure, this is what we're working with today. For the burn today, here's what we're working with. A cone kiln with a fire already going in it. This fire was made using wood because I wanted to get a really hot base going. I let most of the wood burn off, so now we're left with just kind of smoldering coals in the bottom. The next step, we're gonna take all of our horse manure, dump it on top, and watch it. Given that I haven't done this before, what are some concerns? Well, concern number one is really, is this dry enough to burn? I'm worried that it might be wet in the center, might make it really tough, and it more wants to smolder versus pyrolyze. I think the fire is hot enough, so that's not really gonna be a problem. The other thing I'm worried about is, is this might just burn too quickly. So I'm gonna be standing by, ready with a hose, and just quench it as soon as possible as needed. All right, here we go. Will it biochar horse manure edition? The key here is I'm trying to let it burn to build up heat so I can add the next layer on, but I don't want it to burn so much that these nuggets turn into ash. It will biochar. Initial thoughts, manure will definitely biochar. Some of this is pretty well broken down. Some of the other thicker stuff just hasn't fully broken down. This is really due to a fire management thing more than a feasibility thing. I think I made a big mistake. In fact, I know I made a big mistake by pouring that huge layer on halfway through the burn. It just simply smothered the fire out. If I was gonna do this again, I would definitely start with a hotter fire and slowly add the manure. First time I've ever done it. So the tricky balance here was, I don't want it to turn to ash. I want it to pyrolyze, 
So I didn't know how hot I needed it, how quick I needed at it. But looking at a lot of these little horse apples, they're burned through. The key here would definitely be to get these dried out. I could kind of envision a system where you put these through a screen and you take out all the fines and you're left with all these big chunks like this. And you just let them sit in the sun for a long time and just bake, really dry out to the core. And then you could burn them in a kiln like this and just slowly add them in into a nice hot fire and you would definitely get pyrolysis. Is there a better way to make biochar out of manure like this? Possibly a tea lud might be a better answer. I don't have a tea lud kiln, so I can't comment on that. I'm just using a cone kiln like this, but I think a tea lud would work better. T-L-U-D, look that up on YouTube if you wanna learn more about it. Things I would do differently if I did it again, I would let the manure sit out longer to ensure that it was all fully dried out. I tried to pick through a lot of the manure that I had and find the driest pieces. We have rain coming, so I really sped the process up. Definitely start with really dry horse nuggets to begin with. The other thing would be to start with a really hot fire to begin with. I think I let my initial wood fire burn out too much. If I was gonna do this again, I'd get that wood fire going while it was still burning really, really hot. Start adding the horse apples in and then slowly keep feeding them in, letting them burn and then adding more and more. So adding the same amount just over a longer period of time, less at a time. I definitely smothered them out by adding too much at once. Other than that, I think it was a big success. It was a fun experiment. It's cool seeing this. So now I have wood-based biochar, manure-based biochar. I don't know if this is something I'm gonna do all the time, but I definitely think it is one way to get rid of those big horse nugget, horse apples that you have when you have a lot of manure around. Pretty cool to go from this to this at the end of the day. Both organic matter, both carbon, but just different forms of carbon. This will break down relatively quickly, months to years. This will take a lot longer to break down. This is longer lived carbon in the soil. How long? Five years to a hundred years. The estimates are still coming in on how long biochar actually takes to break down in the soil, but it's definitely going to be a lot longer than this. So why would you want to make this to begin with? Well, if you had enough compost and you wanted to get biochar into your soil, then this is an option to make biochar. I realize the results on biochar are, are mixed. They're still out there. I think it's more of a positive than a negative. It's not a silver bullet. It's not gonna change your life. It's not gonna change your soil's life. But I definitely think it is a net positive when it comes to the soil and the benefits outweigh the negatives. So if you did have a surplus of manure and you wanted to get rid of it in a different way and you wanted to experiment, consider making something like this. It's fun. But at the end of the day, the question is, will manure biochar? And the answer is, yes, it will. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be nice, be thankful, and do the work.